Hello guys and good evening and thank you for joining us tonight in techph.org's online Saturday session. So today we're going to have uh, Walter Clavero talk about uh, Salesforce A Technology Introduction. And just, an intro, just to remind everyone, you can use the comment section of the video. If you're watching us on YouTube or Facebook, you can leave your questions in the comment section and we'll try to get to them all at the end of the presentation. So let me bring Walter over. Hi, Walter. Hi, good evening. Hi, good evening, Walter. Now? How are you? Yeah, I can hear you. How are you today? I'm uh, pretty good. OK, How that's good to hear. And I'm good. And uh, just an introduction, Walter is the uh, training director for Recruit Day, and he will talk about Salesforce tonight. So two weeks ago, we talked about Salesforce, and we're going to do it again for those who weren't able to join us. And for those who are watching this at a later date, you can still use the comment section as well to send in your questions if you have any questions for Walter, and we'll be more than happy to get back to you on that. All right, so guys, don't forget, like and share the video so that we can reach as many people as possible. And for those who will be watching this at the later date, uh, you can uh, also share the video so that we can reach everyone who's interested in learning Salesforce during this quarantine uh, period. All right. Okay, and uh, also congratulations to John Dave Nang Nankas and and Jill Villiamater. So they won the the 500 peso food voucher, grab food voucher, grab, grab food delivery voucher last uh, in, in our last session. So congratulations for for winning the competition, for sharing the video as well to help us reach as many people as possible. All right. So without further ado, um, let me bring you over to Walter. Right, so the the kulang yung iyong presentation, Walter. All right. So all right. Okay. Uh, the floor is. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Louise. Uh, can you see my screen? Fine. I hope you can. Yeah, we can see that. Uh, okay. Thank you. All right. Good evening, everyone, and thank you for joining us in this warm Saturday evening. So as Louise mentioned, I'm Walter Clavero. I am Recruit Day's uh, training director. And we will be uh, looking into Salesforce as to, you know, what it is and what kind of opportunities it could hold for you. Okay. So as part of my role, I teach uh, graduates of IT courses and enable them so that they too can become Salesforce developers and consultants. Okay. Uh, before we uh, proceed to our main topic for tonight, I'd just like to take um, a few seconds to introduce Recruit Day. Okay. So as you can see from the slide, Recruit Day is a recruitment solutions company, uh, but we are not, you know, your typical recruitment firm. We have um, a lot of solutions that we are offering that help not just um, employers who are looking for um, talent, but also um, candidates so that they can also um, understand the market, understand the roles better, right? and also maybe even enable them as well. Um, we have uh, the bootcamp uh, initiative for that. Also, we have um, the career guide so that um, you can know what, uh, what to expect in a particular role. We also have uh, referral, uh, the scouts referral programs, right? So you can take um, uh, advantage of that so you can uh, refer your friends and maybe, you know, earn something uh, as well for your um, participation, all right? So let's see um, what we're going to cover for tonight. Okay, so we're gonna look at uh, a brief background on Salesforce, um, explain 
what is Salesforce, um, the possible career paths um, available right now regarding Salesforce, um, how Salesforce is in the Philippines, and a little demo later on on what is possible uh, on the platform. Okay, so let's start with the background on Salesforce. All right. So Salesforce was introduced uh, back in 1999 uh, at San Francisco, California in the USA, right? Uh, it was founded by Mark Benioff, uh, Parker Harris, Dave Molinoff, and Frank Dominguez. So the very first product that they created was a CRM application. So if you're not familiar with the acronym, CRM stands for Customer Relationship Management. So it's a type of application um, that enterprises use. So this particular um, CRM solution that they developed um, uh, will eventually um, change the way people use and uh, buy software. And this is not just for small businesses, but also for large enterprises, okay? So before, when you needed to use a particular software, um, you need to buy the software and then you'll somehow be able to find a way to install it into your uh, computer. So if you're, uh, so you're, if you're already alive back in the wild, wild west of the 1990s, you know that um, that installation process can be hit or miss, right? It can uh, work or it may be, maybe not, okay? So Salesforce, on the other hand, um, was pushing for a different, uh, a different paradigm, a different model, as, uh, as we say. So Salesforce was pushing for um, the software as a service model, or so the surface software as a service model, or um, SaaS as uh, it's more popularly known, uh, was a fairly new concept when uh, they were starting out. So SaaS allows um, organizations to use and pay for software in the same way that they do for um, electricity or water. So it's sort of like a utility. You just pay for what you use, okay? So no need to install anything. Um, you have access to everything because everything is in the cloud, okay? This particular shift in thinking uh, made Salesforce very successful, okay? And it proved that the software as a service model really worked. Now, being very successful, right, since 1999, um, allowed them to experience a, a tremendous amount of growth, okay? They were able to further develop um, their products and they were also able to acquire um, a few other software solutions that uh, would complement their uh, overall vision for the uh, modern enterprise. Okay. Um, I have for you today are two examples of those uh, most recent, of the most recent acquisitions um, that happened last year. So the first one is Tableau. So uh, if you haven't heard of Tableau, Tableau is one of the top uh, data visualization tools in the world. So usually um, when people need to uh, create data visualizations, they, are, they either go for Tableau or um, Microsoft's Power BI, okay? So Salesforce acquired them last year for around um, 16 billion US dollars. No, not not a, particular, a particularly cheap acquisition. Um, the next one we have 
is Click Software. Now, Click Software is known for their um, mobile workforce management and optimization solution. So uh, what does that mean exactly? So uh, mobile, mobile workforce uh, means uh, people, um, this means people in the field. For example, if you're a, um, a cable company, right? If you're a TV cable company, uh, you have people on the field who actually have to go into your um, customers' houses and install uh, the cable service, right? So those people on the field, those are your mobile workforce. So Click Software has a lot of um, innovations and it, uh, has a lot of customers because of uh, their solutions. So Salesforce acquired them last year for, I think, 1.4 billion US dollars. Okay. So when taken all together, um, the Salesforce uh, solution suite, right, uh, can provide organizations or it could provide companies with a better perspective, right, a better understanding of their clients. So as you can see here, uh, it, it's supposed to provide uh, Salesforce customers with a 360 view of their clients. Okay. Excuse me. So this insight into their clients uh, can allow organizations to better serve their clients' needs. And so this is why Salesforce has been consistently uh, recognized as a leader in the Gartner um, CRM category for the past 12 years. Okay, so as you can see, Salesforce is right there pulling ahead uh, uh, from uh, its competitors. Now, great, right? So what does this actually mean for you? Well, um, a very successful company like Salesforce, right, um, will generate a huge demand for skilled developers, admins, uh, and, and configurators, right? And since um, the skills that are needed to, to customize and enhance Salesforce are not necessarily um, taught in school, the people with the right skill set can expect a long and very lucrative career. So let us look as to what possible careers are uh, available uh, on Salesforce. Okay, so what you, can see, what you can see right now are the different certification tracks available for Salesforce. So if you ever uh, want to be part of the Salesforce ecosystem, getting certified would be a good thing, right? It, it proves that um, you know what you're doing. Uh, certification tracks uh, usually determine what type of role you will play in the Salesforce um, uh, project team, okay? <coughs> Excuse me. So as you can see, we have um, six particular tracks. Uh, we have one for the admin, one for app builders, one for consultants, developers, specialists. And finally, we have one for architects. So the, um, the, the ultimate certification, as you will, are the set of certifications for the architects. So most people will either start with the admin certification or the app builder certification, or uh, if you want to be uh, a bit more technical, uh, you have the developer certifications, okay? All right, so these are great. All right. So rem remember we said that um, people who will participate in uh, the Salesforce ecosystem can expect a long 
and lucrative career. So let's look at one particular role, uh, the developer role. Okay. So if you go right now into Google and you search for um, Salesforce jobs, you'll see that there's a lot of demand for sales, uh, Salesforce developers from all over the globe. Um, we can also see that here in the Philippines, there are there is a growing demand as well for Salesforce developers. So uh, what we have for you tonight is an example of what a Salesforce developer can expect uh, for uh, as a compensation package, okay? So what I have are a couple of figures based on last year's average salaries of a Salesforce developer, okay? So, okay. So as you can see, right, with only three years of experience, you can already, um, I guess, ask for around $90,000. That's a lot of money, right? Just for three years worth of experience. And even if you don't have a lot of experience, you can already start at um, 25,000 pesos, okay? Remember, um, these are average salaries from last year. So I'm not saying this is, uh, these are exactly the figures that uh, that you can receive once you get um, uh, a Salesforce developer role in an organization. But um, these figures are within the, uh, shall we say, the realm of possibilities, okay? Okay, so so we've now learned about what Salesforce is. Um, we've also seen what kind of careers we could get uh, we could get into uh, in the Salesforce ecosystem, and we've looked at the um, the developer role in particular here. Okay, so as a final um, as a final item, right? we are going to uh, do a little demo as to um, a few capabilities of Salesforce. Okay, so let me um, switch over to my browser. There's that, okay, here we go. All right. All right, so what you can see right now is the Salesforce um, in, uh, sorry, interface, okay? So, okay, so um, mostly uh, on Salesforce, you'll have to navigate using tabs, right? So these are tabs, okay, just like on uh, our web browsers, right? So in order for us to view uh, multiple pages, we have tabs. Um, in this particular case, these tabs are usually um, associated with um, types of records that we keep in our um, system, right? And also we have here um, the what I usually call the waffle. So the waffle is actually the app launcher. So um, it allows you to navigate across apps that are um, installed or um, created perhaps in your current Salesforce organization, right? Now, uh, if you like, we can click view all so that you can see all of the apps that are currently available on my particular um, Salesforce org, okay? Below it are all of the um, information, right, that we keep in this particular Salesforce um, edition, okay? And then above that, sorry, above that we have the search, right? If you want to search for a record, you just plug in your search uh, criteria there and Salesforce will try to um, look for it. For, for example, um, let's try United. Search for United and there you go. So it's tr it tries to match it to multiple um, types 
of information or should you say multiple tables, right? So accounts, opportunities, contacts, right? Okay. All right. So great. So if you were able to catch us um, last time, um, last time we uh, we demoed um, how to create a validation rule, which allows us to um, keep a high quality of information, right, in our systems. Uh, and then we also demoed uh, an Apex trigger, which is a piece of code that runs uh, whenever, uh, for example, a record is inserted or updated or deleted, right? So for tonight, uh, we're going to do something else. So what we're going to do is we're going to create, for now, a report, okay? So as you can see here on one of the tabs, there's a reports tab. So I'm going to click on the reports tab, okay? And then I'm going to create a new report. So I'm going to click on the new report button, okay? And then it's going to ask me for what type of report. I'm going to report on the leads object, okay? So that's the leads object. All right. So I want to um, use a few filters, right? So that um, I could get um, the right kind of information for my report. So uh, for my leads, I'm going to display all leads, right? And I want everything. So I'm going to say all time for the range. Click apply. All right, good. Let's click refresh. All right, so you can see um, it already retrieved sample. So what we're seeing right now is a sample of the report that we would eventually um, be able to view and run later on, right? And then um, after applying our filters, I want to uh, group the, uh, the data that we have. So I'm going to regroup it. So I'm going to add a group by lead source. So, I'm, so lead source is over here. So I'm going to click on that. All right. So let's click on refresh so we can preview what it will look like. Okay. As you can see, so we now have a lead source grouping here. So some are on, from the web, others from phone inquiries, some others from a purchased list. All right. So, okay. So I think I'm good. I think I'm satisfied with my report. So I'm now going to save it. I'm going to click save. And I'm going to name it the September New Leads Report. Very imaginative name, but fine. Okay. All right. So now I can save it. And okay. So, all right. Good. So let's try to run our report. And voila. So we now have uh, a report of the, all of the leads in our system, and it's now grouped by uh, the lead source, right? So, all right, which is good. For example, um, we also want to perhaps add a chart, right? Ooh, look at that, all right? So it adds a bar chart to our, on top of the report, okay? You can also um, filter our um, reports further if you want. Or, for example, um, uh, if I save it in, if I save the report in a folder, I can now share that folder uh, with my colleagues so that they can also view my report. Um, the other thing is, for example, um, if I need to share my report with someone who 
maybe doesn't have access to Salesforce right now, uh, what we could do is we could also export. Okay. So let's click export, formatted report, fine. Right. Let's save the file. Okay. Let's look at that. All right, as you can see, so this is now my report in Excel, right? Exported in Excel, and I can now um, attach this to an email perhaps, and then share it uh, with my colleague, right? Good. Now, um, reports are great, right? But sometimes um, reading through a report can be tedious, right? Because Right now, we only see like 23 records, but what if you have like hundreds of thousands of records? That's going to be uh, not a good way to spend an afternoon. So what we're going to do is we're going to create uh, what's called a dashboard. Okay, so a dashboard is um, it's, a, it's a tool, right? It's a tool for sort of like a one-stop shop uh, for all of the information that you want to keep track of. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're create, going to create a new dashboard. Okay, we're going to name it the September dashboard. Okay, let's click create. All right, and then let's add component. Let's add the report that we created earlier. All right, let's click select. All right. So I want to use the donut chart as a representation of uh, the report that I created, All right? Looks good. So it has the, uh, the heading, it has the sort of like the pie chart thingy here, right? It has a legend. Uh, it has the figures for each of the section of the donut. And then what else do we need? Uh, okay, I'm going to add a subtitle, right? Because I want to hog all of the limelight. I'm going to add uh, made by Walter as my subtitle. Okay, I'm gonna click add. And there it is. There's my uh, dashboard, right? So as you can see, there's a lot of uh, places where we can add a few more things, right? If, for example, if we if you want to monitor not just the leads, but the accounts, the opportunities, and whatever other information that you want to um, keep track of, uh, we could add it into our dashboard. So let's click on save. Okay. Click on done. Right. So here is my dashboard. Great. So now I don't have to read that report. I just have to um, head over to my dashboard and I can see what the uh, record count is for the leads. Right. All right. Good. Um, another one um, that uh, we're going to try to um, create for you is. Uh, what we call a flow, okay? So um, reports are great, right? But what if you need to, for example, capture information, right? That isn't um, available right now in your screens, for example. So let's say uh, we want to create a new record e um, easily, right? While we're still on the account page. So for that, we can what we could do is we could create a flow so that we can easily capture and create our contact records. Okay. So I'm here at the setup page for Salesforce. And for in the quick find, I'm going to search for flow. Okay. And click on the flow menu item. Uh, sure. And then I am going to click on 
the new flow button. So I'm going to create a new flow. Right? Um, as you can see, there are different types of flows, but for now, we're going to um, use the screen flow. So which means um, we're going to create a, a user interface for our users to uh, interact with. Okay. So here on the left are the um, elements that I can use to create my flow. So for example, I'm going to drag a screen because I want to add a screen that users can interact with. I'm going to say label as contact info. All right, good. And then scroll, scroll, don't need a header. What else do we need? I think we're good. And then I'm going to add a name. So, so this particular component can allow me to capture um, the name of the contact. So contact name. Okay. So I'm going to, I'm just going to display the last name and the first name. You can display other parts of the name like salutations, right? Okay. So for default value, I could, I guess, oh wait, so I, I need a variable first. So let's click done first and then let's add a variable. variable so that we can um, store our information, right? Um, a contact rec, okay. Uh, it's a record of type contact, All right? Click done. All right. All right. So we have a contact rec. We can now use it on our screen, all right, it's a name, so our default for the first name is a contact rec, let's put the first name, right, and for the last name, a contact rec, uh, Last name, okay. So those will be the default values, but since our record uh, is empty, it's not gonna display something there later on. And then we will manually assign our variables because we want to keep um, the, the values that the user uh, will provide. We want to store them into our variable, right? So. For the name, we'll do I contact rec. Oops, sorry, first name. And then last name, contact rec, last name. All right. All right, pretty good. Um, another thing I'd like is I'll, I want to assign it to a particular account, right? So I'll click done first, and then we'll need a new resource. Um, since we want to, we want the user to select what type of account, uh, what type of, right, which account it is. So we'll use record choice set, um, account list for the API name and for the object we'll do account okay. Uh, okay let's filter it sending uh, we'll use the name where is the name name okay 
data type is text first value um, is the ID right we want the account ID okay so that's all I need right I'll, all I need is the account ID when we're creating the contact so done oops I have an error there's an error where Oh, here, sorry, I forgot, uh, by name. Done. All right, so we now have a list of accounts that we can choose from. So let's add it to our screen. So, so let's get a pick list and add it to our screen. Oops, what? Account for the label. Data type text. It's fine. Our default value, choice. So we're going to use our account list. Okay. Click done. So now we can associate our screen with the start. So now when the flow starts, uh, it'll show our screen. Okay. What else do we need? Okay. So we've we're able to now uh, we're able now to capture the values that are imported by the user. Uh, we can now save it into the database so for that we're going to use an element called create record okay uh, say new account a uh, new contact okay uh, just one record will be fine. Okay, done. Oh, wait, I think I forgot something. I forgot to associate the selection. All right. Oh, no, I did. So first, what we're going to do is we're going to assign, right? So let's put it here. Sign account. Okay, so we're going to set the contact records account ID to the value from the pick list. Okay, let's do that. So now after the screen, we have to assign the account ID, right? Then after we assign, we create our record. Okay, so that way uh, we have the name, the account, and then we can create. Let's click save. I uh, say create new contact, All right? Click save. Sure, of course. I'm going to activate it. Okay, so our flow is now active. So what I'm going to do now is I am going to head over to the account tab, All right? For example, for Burlington, 
So this is the Burlington Textiles Corporation of America's record details page. And I'm going to edit it. Let's edit the page. And then we're going to add. Come on. You can do it. There we go. Flow. All right. So let's add a flow here on the right side. Ooh, all right. So I already selected uh, create new contact for our flow. All right. Pretty good. Happy with that. Click save. Okay. Let's look at the activation. Okay, it's already active. So let's do that. All right. Let's click back. And as you can see, here is the flow. Oops. Okay. So this is the flow that we created earlier. Okay. So the name, the last name, and then we can select what type of account. So, so we can fill that in. All right. For example, uh, one, oops. One, the. Uh, De La Cruz, right? For Burlington Textiles of America. Click Next, and that should create Juan De La Cruz for us. Here we go. So Juan De La Cruz, the contact, has been created under the Burlington Textiles um, Corporation of America account record. Okay, so that is our demo. And so before we go, um, we'd like to um, leave you with um, a, few lean, uh, a few learning resources, right, that are available for you if you want to learn more about Salesforce. So the first one is trailhead.com. So trailhead.com is Salesforce's um, own uh, learning solution if you want to learn more, if you want to start learning, <coughs> excuse me, about uh, Salesforce, okay? Um, it's free if you wanted to sign up. Uh, and also we have um, some Salesforce classes that we are uh, featuring on the bootcamp.recruitday.com page, right? So Recruit Day Bootcamp is a um, sort of like um, a learning portal, right? That wherein you can um, search for courses and then sign up. Um, as I mentioned, we are featuring some um, Salesforce courses there. So if you want to learn more about Salesforce, uh, you can go ahead there and um, start uh, browsing on these um, the courses available, right? Okay. And so once you become a Salesforce developer or Salesforce admin or Salesforce consultant, I would encourage you to um, join the Trailblazer um, community of Salesforce developers and admins here in the Philippines. So we have um, communities here in Manila and also in Cebu. So um, the Trailblazer uh, community used to be very active before the pandemic, right? So after the pandemic, uh, it's a little, uh, you know, it's a little hard to gather, right? So uh, maybe after uh, once all of this is settled down, uh, you can uh, join us uh, for a few of the gatherings that we have for the Trailblazer community, right? And of course, um, you can visit recruitday.com to look for um, uh, employment opportunities, right? As to, uh, and also for um, if you want to check out our career guides, our referral program, and also the boot camp, right? It's also available from there. And of course, um, TechPH, right? TechPH org uh, allows us to keep in touch with what's currently. Um, trending and what's uh, developing in the um, IT sector right now. All right. Uh, I think that's it for me. So thank you for joining me and Louise tonight. 
Hello, and thank you so much, for Luis. Yep. Yeah, thank you so much Back for again uh, introducing Salesforce to everyone. So, for those who are interested uh, to join the bootcamp, can you tell us tell us more about that on September twelfth? Am I correct with the date? Right. So on September twelfth, we are actually um, conducting a free um, uh, four hour uh, course on as an introductory uh, uh, as an introduction to Salesforce. Right, so uh, you'll get um, some hands-on experience as to how to uh, enhance can configure Salesforce. Right, so All that right. Um, course is on September twelfth, which is a Saturday. Uh, it's from one p.m. to five p.m. Okay. Okay, and all you have to do is just visit bootcamp.recruitday.com to register. Yep, you just have to visit our page at the bootcamp.recruitday.com and then um, click the uh, fill up the form and click on the inquire uh, button so that we can um, start registering you for the course. All right. Okay. So thank you so much for, for today, Walter. And for those who have questions, again, you can use the comment section and we'll get in touch with you as soon as possible. Uh, but for, for, for now, thank you so much, everyone, for joining us uh, tonight. And... I think for the next few weeks, we will focus on Salesforce and we'll invite uh, a few other tech specialists to talk about their um, area in IT. All right. Anything to add, All right. Walter? Uh, for now, uh, you know, I'd just like to, again, invite people to uh, check the bootcamp page. So bootcamp.recruitary.com. Um, we we only uh, we don't only um, offer Salesforce courses, but we also have other courses as well. So we have off, um, courses on uh, Power BI. Um, I think we also have some uh, courses on Python, right, and mm -hmm. others. Yep. So please check it out. All right. So thank you again, everyone, and thank you, Walter, for uh, joining us this evening. And see you again next okay. week. All right. Thank you, Louise. Thank you. Thank bye you, bye. everyone. Bye, everyone. Bye.